So yesterday I made a version of the old fashioned classic from my family and the local community, strawberry jello pretzel salad. But I did a few tweaks and I'm excited and a little bit nervous. Mm. So I'm starting with our crust, which is two cups of crushed pretzels, three tablespoons of sugar, and three quarters cup of melted butter. We're gonna bake this at 350 for 10 minutes to let it set. So our pretzel crust is out of the oven and now I'm gonna work on our strawberry gelatin mixture. And what I'm changing up is I'm not using packets of traditional Jello. I'm using fresh strawberries and gelatin and sugar. Pouring some of our dry gelatin into a bowl, I'm gonna bloom it in a little bit of cold water. And we need about 24 grams of gelatin to equal two boxes of the traditional Jello. We also need 152 grams of sugar to equal the amount of sugar in two Jello packs, plus a little extra because the traditional recipe calls for sweetened frozen strawberries and I'm using fresh. Maybe just two more tablespoons to take us a little higher. Strawberry time. I love this bird's eye peeler knife, so good. I'm gonna take a potato masher to these berries here in just a moment that I'm dicing up. All right, we're gonna crush some of these berries into the sugar, really get their juices flowing, but I've left some of the other ones off to the side. I'm gonna slice them a little bit more neatly for across the top. Just a pinch of salt, a little bit of lemon juice, just about a teaspoon or two. Okay, we need about two cups of boiling water to dissolve our gelatin before we add it into our strawberry sugar mixture. That looks pretty good. We'll pop this in the fridge to help it cool down and we'll get working on our middle layer and quality control. Mm. I'm also gonna slice up the last of our strawberries and then I just scooped a few tablespoons of the juice from our berry mixture and I wanna ladle that over top after we lay these berries on our dessert. For the middle layer, cream together eight ounces of softened cream cheese and a cup of granulated sugar. All right, I let that go for a couple minutes till it was really nice and soft and fluffy. Okay, no need to clean that bowl because we're gonna just whip up some whipped cream. So instead of using Cool Whip, I'm using a cup of heavy cream, but I'm gonna stabilize it. So I'm gonna hold back just a couple tablespoons of the cream and heat that up. And earlier I held back about one teaspoon of our gelatin. So I'm gonna add it to our whipped cream to keep it a little bit more together, along with a third of a cup of powdered sugar, and a little bit of vanilla. I'm gonna start our cream cold all by itself before I start adding our powdered sugar and vanilla. So I heated our reserved cream in the microwave and then added the gelatin to it and so it's completely dissolved and it's really not that warm but I actually wanna bring it back up to a cooler temperature so it whips well. So I'm gonna add just another splash, about a tablespoon of cream, and we're gonna add that to our sort of soft peaks whipped cream, get that going again. And a little bit of vanilla, about half a teaspoon. It's looking really good right now. Nice soft peaks. And now I'm gonna just fold our mixtures together. Mm. I'm excited to see how the gelatin helps set up this uh, middle layer. Down through the middle, fold over. You don't need to be super gentle with this. We weren't trying to incorporate a ton of air here, but just a lightness. Okay, some assembly required. I don't know who's gonna lick the bowl. Hmm. So pro tip, we wanna ease it out to the edges, making a nice even layer. You may wanna to switch to an offset spatula. I'm gonna do that. You can do this in a nine by 13, that's traditional, but I really wanna elevate this jello pretzel salad to a true strawberry gelatin pretzel dessert. All right, so I've worked all of our cream layer out to the edges and really pushed along the edge of our pan to make sure that the gelatin won't sink down in. 
and we're gonna chill this and check on our gelatin. If it gets a little bit more thick, we'll pour it over top. Okay, our strawberry uh, gelatin mixture is setting up really well. It's kind of like a soft jam at this point, but I tasted it and it's not really as tart as I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more lemon juice to it, about another uh, couple teaspoons or in told maybe a whole tablespoon. Mm. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, our pretzel and cream layer have been in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Our strawberry gelatin toppings getting nice and thick, it's still pourable. So we're gonna do that gently. Now we could stop right there. That looks terrific. I'm just smoothing out strawberries so that they are sort of evenly distributed, those ones that we chunked up. But I think while this looks good, we're gonna make it even better by doing an arrangement of strawberries. And then with this reserved juice, I'm just gonna spoon it over top so that these top layers of strawberry are also enrobed in the gelatin. This is looking so good, but it has to set up. It takes about four hours or leave it overnight. It'll let the crust get a little soft. All of those other layers will meld together and I cannot wait to unmold it and see how we did. Oh boy, this looks good. It's heavy. It's definitely set. I'm excited and I'm a little nervous. So just to recap the changes we made yesterday, I kept the pretzel butter layer pretty much the same for the crust. The middle layer, which is cream cheese and usually Cool Whip, I swapped out the Cool Whip for real whipped cream, which I stabilized with a little bit of gelatin. And then for our top layer of strawberry jello, I didn't actually use real jello brand jello packets. I used pure gelatin and strawberries. Oh, and just to add a little bit more elevation to the whole mix, I made this in a spring form tin instead of the traditional nine by 13. Taking a paring knife just about as deep as the gelatin layer just to loosen it from the sides of the tin. And I'm keeping really tight and loose in that layer. Okay, the moment of truth. We'll see if our whipped cream layer goes flying everywhere. Oh my goodness truly better than expected. Oh, it looks so good. And I think if there's only one weak link, I'm wondering if the whipped cream layer is a little weaker because I see it has kind of pushed out slightly, maybe a little bit more gelatin next time. Actually, that came off really well, better than some other desserts I've made. Just a thing of beauty. Okay. Let's slice in. And just to give us a little insurance policy, I have a knife heating in some warm water. Mm, that crust. Come on, whipped cream layer. Oh yeah. Now that is a nice piece of dessert. We are getting a little bit of our whipped cream sort of oozing out. It's a little softer than what I'd like. So again, next time I'm doing it, a little bit more gelatin in that whipped cream layer. Here goes. Mmm, all those flavors, that salty, buttery pretzel crust and that tartness from the strawberries, our nice whipped cream and cream cheese layer. This sat overnight, so almost a full 24 hours before cutting it in. The taste is wonderful. I don't miss the Cool Whip. I don't miss the Jell-O. It's all great. Make some strawberry pretzel dessert. Delicious. And I read the, inch oh, I see a leaf crust and the tile. I see a pesky air bubble. Pop, 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 or I'm gonna scoop you out. It's 2.30. Oh, there goes the spatula. Insurance policy. Looks like you're tilted down. Oops, got that dirty. Well, it tastes good. 